Hello and welcome to another Mercy Tiara Kits Reveal. Today I am unveiling the Smile Kit, which is named as a shout out to Shamel, whose Reasons to Smile collection features prominently in this kit, as you can probably tell even just looking at it as a, at a glance. It's also named for the great big grin that I have on my face every time I look at this kit. I just can't wait to dive into it. So I wanted to share it with you here today before I start cutting it up and making it into pages. This month's reveal features a main kit, an embellishment add-on, a six by eight paper pad add-on, a full-size pattern paper add-on, a cardstock add-on, and a mixed media add-on that includes these three new sprays from Tim Holtz's Distress Spritz collection. And these colors are chosen to coordinate nicely with this kit. So as usual, I am going to start with the main kit. The main kit this month comes with some really exciting embellishments that I will share with you in a few minutes. But first, let's have a look at the patterned paper. So the main kit comes with one each of the following papers. And if you get the pattern paper add-on, you will have a total of two each of these. I'm going to be drawing from my pattern paper add-on so that you can see both sides of the papers at once. The first paper is from Chamel's Reason to Smile collection. It's called Bloom Wild, and it has these beautiful flowers. I just love these. They're so bright and colorful and the pops of white just really balance this off as well as the pops of navy blue. Just so gorgeous. This is gonna be su such a fun paper to work with. If you like bright, bold patterns, this kit is definitely for you. The flip side of this one has these pink, it's got like a pink watercolor wash uh, over the paper with white stripes, white diagonal stripes. It's so beautiful and such a nice calm companion paper to this one. The next paper I actually chose for the B side. I chose this paper for this one. This is also from Chamel's Reason to Smile collection. And it has these beautiful little imperfect stars. I just love them. They're little chubby stars. I really like those. It's a purpley pink, just a little bit more purple than this one. And it's really beautiful, nice tone on tone look. The flip side is also really usable and very timely. We have some backpacks and notebooks and cameras and stars all on a grid, a blue grid background. This is so great for back to school. I did choose this paper mostly for this side, but I was also mindful that many of us have kids going back to school these days and these would make really nice. You could fussy cut it to make an embellishment or even just use this pattern paper as well on a layout about going back to school or heading to college or university. Next, we have a paper from Paige Evans' Adventurous Collection. I love these tags that you can cut apart. And what I love about these tag papers, I often include them in our kits, I love them because it gives you an opportunity to get a little splash of some of the patterns from that collection that I didn't get a full size sheet of. So it gives you a chance to just kind of sample some of these beautiful patterns that go along with this kit, but didn't make it into the kit. Some of these papers I actually did choose for the kit, but didn't they didn't make the kit the cut. So this is a nice way to include all of those. You could also cut these apart or use punches to punch them out, use them very creatively. So lots of options there. The back side of that paper features this. I love papers like this. I love this beautiful ombre effect. So, so beautiful. This pattern reminds me of intricate tiles and it's just so pretty. Next, we have another sheet from the Reasons to Smile collection. This one is called Thrive Now and it is a more dense floral pattern. So it works really well with the floral pattern that we already have here. And these clusters are very fussy cutable. So although there's some layering and overlapping within each cluster, the cluster itself can be cut out. It's completely covered. And it will have this beautiful navy blue border around it if you did cut them out. These are really beautiful. I can't wait to see what Shannon on our design team decides to do with this one. She's the queen of the fussy cutting. 
I love how vibrant these oranges are in this one too. So, so pretty. The flip side of that one is this teal background with these white flowers. So pretty, love it. Next, we have another sheet from the Reasons to Smile collection. This one is called Rest Often, and it has this beautiful, bold stripe. And a stripe is such a nice addition to your page. You can use it in a strip to ground something. You can use it as a, as a border or as a mat. Just so versatile and easy to use. And a stripe, it does a really good job of pulling together colors from a kit. The flip side of that is adorable. It has these adorable little cushions and bundled up blankets. Next, we have another sheet from the Reasons to Smile collection. This one has all these beautiful potted plants on a wood grain background. And I have to say there's very little duplication of these patterns. There are some duplications, but it's, it's a really nice variety of different plants. You could fussy cut these and use them as embellishments. So beautiful. And let me show you the back side of it. It is a pink wood grain, an illustrated pink wood grain. Oh, I love this. Illustrated wood grains have always been one of my favorite patterns in scrapbooking. Next, we have another piece from Paige Evans Adventurous Collection. This one has this beautiful pattern of little white daisies on a watercolored background that has a little bit of a rainbow effect. It goes from blue to purple to pink to orange to red to yellow. So beautiful. This would make such a pretty background. Love this. And the back side of that is this super vibrant yellow with this geometric white pattern on it. We have another sheet from the Paige Evans Adventurous Collection. This one features all of these absolutely gorgeous butterflies. These are so beautiful and would look so nice fussy cut. But I love the boldness of this pattern. I would love to see a layout that, like a 50-50 layout that uses this as the background and this as the lower half of the page. This would look so pretty with a nice border across. Oh, that would look so nice. I'm having so many ideas. So the flip side of that one is this beautiful tone-on-tone -tone floral. Pink with darker pink leaves on a lighter pink background. Next, we have this also from the Adventurous Collection, this blue and purple floral. It's so pretty and that white just makes it pop. The flip side of that paper is this tone-on-tone -tone or orangey, yellowy paper. And it has little, little hearts and stars and pink circles and little shapes. They almost look like cookie cutter shapes. They're really cute. Love those. The last sheet is from Paige Evans' Adventurous Collection. I just thought that this would make such a beautiful background. It would look really just so nice and stunning and such an easy way to pop out a really quick layout is to just use this, do a little bit of layering on it, and maybe put a little bit of journaling right here and you're done. You could also use this in a lot of different creative ways. So I can't wait to see what you folks do with this one. And the flip side of that one is this splotchy, it's like a robin's egg background with all of these splotches of ink on it in purples, navy blues, and teal or turquoise. Look at how beautiful that works with that Chamel paper. So as I edited, I realized that I did not show all of the papers. I must have pressed pause somewhere and forgot to unpause it. So I just want to quickly show you the backside of this paper. It has these really cute typewritten phrases in blue. And then we have a close up of this one, which is the Chamel paper from Reasons to Smile. It has these beautiful hearts on it. And the flip side, has some beautiful cameras on a navy blue background. And then I wanted to be able to show you, <laughs> I've actually already used this kit and so I did not get to show you this paper, but this is how I used it on a background. And this will just give you a sense of how the paper looks up close. I did obviously do a page with it. And then I also thought I would take advantage of the, the fact that I have already matted this die cut piece onto the coordinating paper that goes with it so that you can see. So as you can see, there's a lot of 
little squares and little bits of foam tape in there. So it took a little bit of time, but oh, is it ever beautiful? I just adore this. It's so pretty. I just love the detail. In fact, I think I might just frame it and not, and not scrapbook it because I just absolutely adore this. All right, so I have our patterned paper laid across the top there. Let's have a look at the embellishments that come with this kit. First of all, we have these beautiful foam thickers. These are glitter blue foam thickers in this beautiful skinny font. I love this font because it's so thin that you can use pretty long words and not take up so much space. It also has numbers and punctuation, which is really nice. We have a set of cardstock stickers here from Chamel's Reason to Smile collection. It features all of these beautiful shapes that coordinate so nicely with the kit. Oh, I love the potted plants. I love the slices of cake. All of these phrases to work with as well, and two strips of borders here. We have this die cut piece here that I really want to show you. So because it has writing on it, it does have a front side and a back side. I want you to be able to see the shimmer on it because it's like a pearlescent finish. It has shimmer, but it's not as reflective as shimmer usually is. So it almost, in certain lights, it looks like it's matte and in certain lights it looks like it is shimmery. So it's very, very subtle and very pretty, very different than what regular paper would look like if you got a, a cut file like. So it's very, very intricate and beautiful. I am really looking forward to working with it. We have a set of die cuts here from Paige Evans' Adventurous Collection. These are the pieces that come in this one. So we get lots of journaling pieces. I selected this specifically so that it would have lots of places to hold journaling. I'll just hold them up so that you can get a sense of the quality of them. Oh, some of them have a bit of a shiny finish on them. Oh, that's nice. They're different than just regular paper die cuts. They almost have the same finish as, it's not really shiny, but it is. it feels smoother than regular paper almost feels like cardstock with a shiny finish. Very similar to the, the, the cardstock stickers that American Crafts makes. Yeah, these are, all of the papers are like a thicker, more finished kind of paper. I really like that for a change. And there's some vellum pieces in here as well. Look at that little floral piece. Let's see if I can get, the, oh, it's a plane. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. They work well together. Next, we have a confetti mix. Scott always designs our confetti mix and he did a great job this month. Here's how they look. We have some little tiny pink flowers and some purples, navy blues, some crimped light blues, and that pop of super bright yellow. These yellows pick up on the Paige Evans yellows in the kit. And if they're too bright for you, you can just selectively leave them out. So here we have the embellishment add-on for this kit and it has some bold and playful elements to really punch up your pages. So this add-on comes with this super fun pom-pom trim. You get a full yard of it and this is super, super dimensional. And I know that sometimes we don't wanna put super dimensional things in a 12 by 12 page, but I'm challenging you to add these to your pages and have some fun. And I do have an idea for you that will help this be a little bit less dimensional. So I don't know if you can see from this angle, but this one has been cut down on one side so that it lies a little bit more flat than the other ones. So you can have the dimension on this by just cutting off the edges, like the back sides of these. So just make sure that you cut the same side on all of them, but you can just take your scissors and cut right through it just like this. Now there is a little hard spot in the middle that I want to avoid cutting, but I can cut all of this extra dimension off. I get this little puffy piece of white. It does pull apart. You could put a glue dot on it before you pull it apart and use it as a little fluffy circle on something else. 
but what you will see is that you end up with pieces that have a flat back. You can see them right here. These ones lie flat on the page and they're only a little bit more dimensional than another kind of trinket that you might put on your page. So they lay quite a bit more flat like this. This one is about twice as, as dimensional as these ones are. So I plan to just trim mine down like that on one side and use it as a really fun bobbly embellishment on my page. Another super fun embellishment that comes in this kit is this laser cut acrylic smile piece. It is so beautiful and detailed. Now this piece is held together with friction. So that means that some of these little pieces might pop out. They pop right back in again. So do be gentle with them. I put each one of these into this bag and there were only a few of them with which the centers of the E came out. There was one or two where the dot of the I came out. I think I kept those back and didn't put those in the kits because I was worried that you might lose the little dot in the eye. So most of them are very firmly in there and will not come out. They're held in there with friction. So the more you handle them, the more likely it is that pieces might fall out, but they're really beautiful. I love, love, love this. And I mean, one of the downsides of having such a intricately detailed piece is that little pieces. Another thing that could come out is this little piece right here. Uh, so just be careful that you're not uh, that you keep it inside of the sealed bag when you're not using it so that the pieces don't fall out. And when you put it on your page, just make sure that you put a little bit of glue behind the pieces that are more at risk for falling out so that they don't pop out of your page. And I designed it so that the outside, like the turquoise part is a matte, is the matte surface and the blue part is a shiny surface. So it has this extra detail. In addition to this, we get some bonus letters that are the insides of this one. So we pass these along to you. So you actually get two words here. You get smile and you get smile, but you could also spell spell miles or slime, or you can even use the E as a G. And we were coming up with all sorts of different words that you could spell out with these. So I am really interested in seeing what you come up with. You can also use the M as a W. You will also get a little charm in the embellishment kit. It will either be scissors or a ruler or a sewing machine or something like that. Little silver charm. Oops. Makes a really cute special embellishment on something. You'll also get a set of embellishments. These are from Paige Evans Adventurous Collection. I just love her florals, so I had to include the floral die cuts. They're just so pretty. These ones have the same finish as the other die cuts. They're just a little bit thicker and uh, they're not they're not shiny as in reflective, they just feel smooth, smoother than paper. We have these adorable little puffy stickers from Chamel's Reason to Smile. So cute. I find that these puffy stickers are, the, t the size of them is just perfect for when you've got a little embellishment cluster and it just needs a little something. These puffy stickers usually do the job. Then we have a set of thickers. These are from the Reason to Smile collection and these are the foam phrase stickers. So we have Remember, Good Book, Smile, Good, Better, Best, Nope. And we have Beautiful, Enjoy, Love, Sunny Days, and Believe. Little, little images here as well, like a balloon and a rainbow. And we've got some notebooks and more florals and hearts and stuff on the other side. Oh, one little tip that I have for you, I will show you what I did with my, with my add-on. Now I made sure that I got the one that had the most, the most loose parts. And so I had trouble with my little inside of my E falling out. And so I just took a little piece of paper and put some glue on it and glued it in place. And I'm going to do the same with this. And I think I'll do it right now so that you can see how I do it. So this fits back in just perfectly, right? And when you move it around, it doesn't really come out unless if you, like I have to kind of pop it out. But if yours is looser than this and you want to make sure that it doesn't come out, I'm going to just, just tear the tiniest little piece 
this. And I'm going to take a little bit of glue here. And all I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm just going to glue that onto the back of this like that. So you see what I did there? It's just flat on the back and there's glue on it. And then I'm just going to stick this little piece in place. Zoom in a little bit so that you can see it better I'll put right here. I'm just going to make sure that that lines up. Make sure that when you're putting it in that you don't put the shiny side out. It won't fit. Uh, but with the blue, if your little dot comes out, you want to make sure that you put the shiny side out. In this case, you want the, the matte side out so that it matches with the whole thing. Just pressing it down to activate that glue and spread the glue out. And there we go. Now we just have that reinforced so that once that glue dries, that's not going anywhere. So like I said, most of you aren't going to have to do that. But if you happen to get one of the ones that is a little bit more loose, you might want to add just a tiny little bit of paper reinforcing, unless if you're just going to use it right away, in which case you probably don't even need to do that. So let's have a look at the cardstock add-on because this complements this kit so perfectly. The cardstock add-on comes with two sheets each of four colors of cardstock. And this month they're all basil cardstock. And we have this beautiful, blue it's called huckleberry pie it works so wonderfully with the kit and then we have this purple which is called heidi and this one is a textured cardstock this one is a very thick smooth cardstock this one is also a very thick smooth cardstock this one is called marine mist works really beautifully with the kit. And then also another one of those smooth and, and heavy cardstocks. This one is called Pink Icing and it complements the kit just beautifully. Our mixed media kit this month features brand new product from Tim Holtz. This is his Distress, Distress Spritz. In these three beautiful colors, we have Peacock Feathers, we have Wilted Violet, and we have Worn Lipstick. And I am so excited to play with these. I haven't had a chance to play too much with them yet, but I did do a little, a little sample card of each of them. And wow, they're so beautiful. I especially love the Worn Lipstick. The Worn Lipstick is this beautiful pink spray, but the, the mica in it is a, a beautiful goldy orangey color. It's just so interesting and beautiful, and I think it works wonderfully with the kit. This one, look at how much it looks like this, <laughs> like this pattern. This one is Peacock Feathers, and it has a bit of a gray in it. It's just so pretty. Look at that, it's just so gorgeous. It looks so great with this kit too. I just love it. And then we have Wilted Violet. And you know what, with Halloween coming up, I think that this spray in particular is going to look absolutely stunning on Halloween projects. But it works really well because it picks up on the purple in this kit as well. And I like how neutral it is. For a purple in some lights, it just looks gray. And it's only when it, ha when it catches just when it catches the light like that, it just shines such a vivid, beautiful purple. But then, then it's, it's gray again. <laughs> I love it. Last but not least, an add-on to the kit, we have a few of these Reasons to Smile 6x8 paper pads. These paper pads are single-sided papers. It includes 36 patterns, I think six of which are specialty papers, so they have gold gold foil or gold glitter accents. Yeah, it's gold glitter. Gold glitter accents on them. Really pretty. And I love to have six by eight paper pads for my pocket pages, but of course these paper pads also work really well for card makers. They work well combining with your scrapbook papers because the scale is different. The patterns might be the same, but the scale is different. So. If these hearts are just a little bit too big for you, we have another sheet right here that has the smaller hearts. Here are some of the extras that come with the Smile Kit. Of course, every month we get a MTK newsletter 
This month we have a little bit of an update on the kit club and a color palette to help you match this kit to the colors in your stash, whether it's mists or inks or cardstock. We have some journaling prompts here that are specific to the smile kit. We have a little community spotlight on our good friend Tara, who has some layouts here and also over on our Facebook group. We have our kit planning tool, which gives you places to help plan out how you'd like to use the, the kit, as well as some sketch spaces here for you to sketch out some designs of your own. And of course, we have our monthly sketch challenge. This is where we have a sketch that is provided to us by Christine Davidson at Creative Scrappers. And every month we have a challenge over on our Facebook group. If you create a layout using this sketch and post it to our group, you might win a gift card to the shop. So next we have the digital files that come with this kit. We get a set of icons, which includes this cute little frame and a little ice cream comb that you can piece together, the word smile and this adorable little camera. That was my request, so I'm very pleased to see that there. And then we also get a background file that includes this really cute cut file. And look at how nicely it cuts. It's so pretty. Look at that. Then we always get a printable labels file as well. These are, you can print them at home and cut them apart. You can also send them out to print. I know some people do send them out to Staples Copy and Print. These are just gorgeous and they're color matched to the kit. And so we have our large scale labels, our medium scale labels, and then two sets of the smaller scale labels as well. So I can't wait to see what you make with this kit. Head on over to mercytiarakits.com to pick up your kits today. We're based in Canada and we ship easily to the US and Canada. And if you're outside of those two countries, reach out to us on our website and we'll see what kind of shipping rates we can offer, including the option to hold on to your kits and send a few of them at a time. Some of our customers who are based in Europe or the UK tend to shop and buy this month's kit plus maybe a couple of kits back and send them all together. And that makes shipping a little bit more worthwhile for them. So always give that some thought as well if you're outside of the US and Canada. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a really great scrappy week. I can't wait to dive into this kit. I'm gonna be working on it tonight and tomorrow. Take care and have a really great scrappy week. Yeah.